This video covers the most important properties of expected value, aka expectation, aka mean, aka average of a random variable. First, it is not always true that a finite random variable has finite expectation. The expected value is the balance point of the density of the function. If there is a lot of probability on both the positive and negative side, there might not be a balance point. An example of this is the Cauchy distribution, which does not have an expected value because both its right-hand tail and left-hand tail are simply too big. Say that the expected value of x with a Cauchy distribution does not exist. What about the absolute value of a Cauchy? That's a little better, since now we have folded the left tail over to the right. Now we can say that the expected value of the absolute value of x is infinity. In fact, Every random variable has the mean of the absolute value of the random variable as either a finite number or infinity. When it is finite, we say that the random variable is integrable. Now the set of integrable random variables form a vector space. If x and y are integrable random variables and a and b are constants, then a times x plus b times y is also an integrable random variable. An important property of expectation is that it is a linear operator. That means that for any random variables x and y, and any random variables a and b, the mean of a times x plus b times y is a times the mean of x plus b times the mean of y. This works even if x and y are dependent, or even if y is f of x for some function f. Another important fact about expected value is that it respects the order of less than or equal to. If I have a random variable x that is less than or equal to y with probability 1, then I say that the random variable y dominates the random variable x. If x and y are integrable, then x less than or equal to y implies that the mean of x is less than or equal to the mean of y. To understand our last property of expectations, we first need to look at convex functions. Recall that a function is convex if the secant line connecting any two points on the graph lies on or above the graph. For example, x squared, absolute value of x, and e to the x are all convex functions. Suppose that x1 and x2 are two x values, and that the random variable x is either x1 or x2 then the mean of x lies between x1 and x2. If I put a dot on the function line, that has height f of the mean of x. Here's the interesting part. If I put a dot on the secant line, that has height mean of f of x. And since the function is convex, we immediately know that f of the mean of x is less than or equal to the mean of f of x. In general, this is called Jensen's inequality. If f of x is a convex function, then f of the mean of x is less than or equal to the mean of f of x. In particular, the expected value of x squared is less than or equal to the mean of x squared. And the absolute value of the mean of x is less than or equal to the mean of the absolute value of x.